Lovisa is a lovely little wooden house town which is about 90 kilometers from the Finnish capital Helsinki. Finland's most famous composer John Sibelius also comes from here. The original name of Lovisa was Degerby. It was founded in the 1745 as a border and fortress city more than 10 kilometers from then then eastern border because eastern Finland needed a new stable town in Hamina after peace of Turku in 1743 on the other side of border. Degerby became Lovisa in 1752. King Adolf Frederick of Sweden visited the city at the time and named the city after his wife, Queen Lovisa Ulrika. Lovisa is also called the city of the queen. Birgit Korhonen, who is the guide of the city of Lovisa, toured us through the narrow alleys of the idyllic old Lovisa and told about the importance of the old Lovisa to the city of Lovisa. What does old Lovisa mean to the locals? Kyllä se on meidän aarre. Mehän on suojeltu alue. Ja, ja täällä kaikissa tavoissa, niin jos nyt ei ole ihan jonoa, niin kyllä ne, ne on myydessä. Ja omistajat arvostaa näitä taloja sitten kovasti. Tämä on, tämä on erittäin tärkeä. Lovisa is known for its old town, which also houses one of the oldest wooden buildings in Finland, the outbuilding of the Degerbyke Ekurestian farm, which dates back to the 17th century. The houses of the old town were saved in the Great Fire of Lovisa in 1855. The old wooden houses in Lovisa are concentrated around Kuningattarenkatu and Mariankatu, although there are other fine wooden house areas. The long streets converge at the salt market. As early as the 17th century, Lovisa's industry was built for shipping. Timber was the city's largest export asset. The salt fences in the Laivasilta area date back to the time when salt was brought through the port of Lovisa to as many as one-seventh of Finland's residents. Today, the old red wood warehouses have, for example, maritime museum, restaurants and shops. The harbor of the Laivasilta is mostly used by recreational boaters. How much attention is paid to restoration in Lovisa? Näitä asuntoja kyllä restauroidaan todella, tai restauroidaan jatkuvasti ja on restauroitu. Se on hyvin tärkeää, että pitää talonsa kunnossa. Ei sitä tulisi tällaisia asuntoja, vaan haluaa asuntoja, jos ei olisi innostunut siitä korjauksesta ja haluaisi pitää sitä talonsa. Lovisa has also been known for its spas. The health source of Lovisa was found in the 1750s and its mineral water was used to cure and prevent all kinds of ailments. Today, in the charming wooden house area of Lovisa, you will find a few nice cafes with beautiful courtyards. At the once a year Vanha Talot events, the charming Lovisa houses and their residents also open their doors to the general public. Visitors will then have the opportunity to peek inside the walls of the homes, see the restoration of the buildings, repair and interior design solutions. The Lovisa Open Garden event is also held twice a year in Old Lovisa, giving visitors the opportunity to enjoy the atmosphere brought by beautiful personal courtyards. Both the Vanha Talot and the Lovisa Open Gardens events have been really popular in recent years for both locals and visitors and the houses and courtyards will be seen from afar and inspired by their own restoration projects and gardens. How many people will attend the Open Garden event? We have 14,500 Lovisalaista. And the last time we had it, we had 15,000 Lovisalaista. So we had a lot of Lovisalaista. And 